Hello, good day. So today we're going to talk about the three best exchanges to buy cryptocurrency. Okay, these best three exchanges. So we have Coinbase, we have Crypto.com, and we have Binance.us if you're in the United States and regular Binance if you're not. Okay, these are the three exchanges that I like. I would always say to always have two exchanges. And if you have more than $20,000, have three exchanges. Because Coinbase have limited coins, which... Uh, These are the coins that they have. And Binance US have limited coins also. These are the coins that they have. Pax Gold, Harmony, Orchard, Helium. Like for instance, or uh, Pax Gold, I don't believe is in Coinbase Pro. Solana, I don't believe it is in Coinbase. Stores, I don't believe in Coinbase. And BNB, I don't believe is in Coinbase, which BNB is a great coin. And I would also say crypto.com is a great place to buy your crypto also. Okay? Now, Whenever you're setting an account with any of these companies, you will need, you will just click get started here. You would need your first name, last name, email, password, of course, and you will need your driver's license or a passport and something that says that you live in that address, like a bank statement, cell phone bill, light bill, or any statement that has your address. And then the bank account that you're going to connect your account to. Okay? So that's what you would need for most of these exchanges, which we have Coinbase Pro, Coinbase Crypto.com, and Binance.us. Okay, so now you've created your account and your account is activated and your account is connected with your bank account where you can have Coinbase or Binance US or crypto pull the money directly from your account. So let's start small now. So now our account is set up. So now we know that to do research, we could do research on coincodex.com. Not only that, we can also do research on CoinMarketCap. So what I normally do, let's just say we stay on CoinMarketCap. What I normally do is see what's been going on the last 24 hours. As you can see, the last 24 hours, Bitcoin dropped 11%. It had dropped lower than that. I believe it's lower than that right now, but that's what it says within the last 24 hours. Let me refresh this and see what it says now. See, it says now 8%. So we know if Bitcoin's been dropping, Ethereum's been dropping. So there is something that we do, we call buy the dips. So we look at the coins that we would normally buy and we like buying 15% or more dips and we would buy them, okay? So I'm going to tell you the coins that we like. There's something that's called the top 15 coins that we like and then I will share with you how we buy them based on your budget size. So, 
pay attention. F top 15 coins. We like Bitcoin. That's one. Ethereum, two. We call those the standard. Binance, BNB, three. Cardano, four. Polkadot, five. And then I will click here and do DeFi. We like Uniswap 6, Ave 7, Maker 8, Synthetic 9, Compound 11, Sushi Swap 10, Yearn Finance 13, Uma 14, and then we'll finalize it with Ren 15. So those are the top 15 coins. We call them solid coins. And 90% of those coins are on Coinbase. And the others are on Binance US. So let me do it again. Write it down. These are the top 15 coins that we believe in. Bitcoin 1, Ethereum 2, Binance Coin 3, Polkadot 4, Cardano 5. So the top five coins, okay? Then we like DeFi space. The DeFi space is increasing. So we like the DeFi space. So the top 10 that we like in the DeFi space, Uniswap 1, Ave 2, Maker 3, Synthetic 4, Sushi Swap 5, Compound 6, Yearn Finance 7, Uma 8, Ren 9, and I believe I forgot one. We could put chain link in it. So those are the top 15. So this is what I'll do. We look to see what happened within the last seven days. We look for changes. So if we click here the last 24 hours, if we believe in buying 15% or more dips, that's what we will do. So Bitcoin, I know, has dropped more than 15% within the last 36 hours. So let's just say I'm entering the market for the first time and I have $1,000 and I'm going to invest in cryptocurrency. With $1,000, I would only buy two coins. Bitcoin 500, Ethereum 500. That's it. Okay? So with $1,000, that's what I'll do. Though they are the most two solid coins, the percentage of increase is not going to go that high. On average, you'll probably do 10% a month, but they're solid coins. Now, if I have $5,000, this is what I would do. Put a thousand in Bitcoin, a thousand in Ethereum, a thousand in Binance Coin, a thousand in Cardano, and a thousand in Polkadot. Cardano and Polkadot, you might have to find that on a different exchange like crypto.com because Coinbase doesn't carry them currently now, maybe in the future. So 5,000, I would do these top five coins, which that was the five points in my list. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Cardano, and Polkadot. Okay? Now, 
if I had $10,000 I'm investing in the cryptocurrency market, this is what I would do. The top fives would take 5,000, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Cardano, Polkadot. And then I would go to the DeFi market and I would put a thousand in Uniswap, thousand in Aave, thousand in Maker, thousand synthetic, and Susie Swap. You might cannot find Susie Swap. I believe Susie Swap is on crypto.com. That's how I put the ten thousand and ten coins. I would thousand each. Now, once you have ten coins. I wouldn't increase more than 10 coins. I would stay there until my account is at $20,000. So if I had another 10,000 again, I would put $1,000 in each of the top 10 coins that I told you. That's what I would do. That means each coin I would have put 2,000 in each. So I'm going to start again. Pay attention. Pay attention. With $1,000, I would put 500 Bitcoin, 500 Ethereum. Okay? And I would build that account up. Okay? If I have $5,000, I would put 1,000 in each. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Coin, Polkadot, and Cardano. So, let's just say you... First, put $1,000 and you bought 500 Bitcoin, 500 Ethereum. And now you got somewhere, uh, uh, got paid and you got another $2,000. Well, I would put 500 Bitcoin, 500 Ethereum, and the other 3,000, I would put 1,000 Binance coin, 1,000 Polkadot, 1,000 Cardano. No. So I've showed you how I would build the account. I would continue building. I would not have more than 10 coins i would build up to 10 coins twenty thousand dollars as soon as i have twenty thousand dollars that's telling me that i should make 10 percent minimum on my account monthly that's two thousand dollars and start paying my bills with two thousand dollars so if your monthly bill you average is two thousand dollars a month once you have $20,000 in the cryptocurrency market, you should be able to be able to pay your bills and start positioning yourself four months or five months later to become a full-time cryptocurrency investor. If your bills a month is 5,000 a month, guess what? You can't quit your job until you have $50,000 in the cryptocurrency market because it should be making you minimum 10% a month, which is $5,000. So I told you three exchanges I would do. Binance US, I would set up the account. Coinbase, I would set up the account. Crypto.com, I would set up the account. I would buy everything on Coinbase first. And whatever I cannot find on Coinbase, then I would do Binance US. And whatever I cannot find on Binance US, then I would do crypto.com. And then I gave you the top 15 coins and I would stay there. And you remember I told you not to have more than 10 coins for $20,000. $1,000, $1, two coins, 500 Bitcoin, 500 Ethereum. Thank you. I am Romeo the Professor. Until then, subscribe to the YouTube channel, by the way, if y'all haven't subscribed. It is the Investor YouTube channel. Thank you.